Well, good morning from Royal Ramwick, and on Saturday it's the Moston Copper Group Missile Stakes, a, an amazing field of sprinters really for this time of year, and many heading towards the Everest, and the man responsible for the surface that they'll run on, Navesh Ramdani, joins me today. Navesh, uh, how's the track, and, and how's the weather been, this dry spell, been treating you for the, for the upcoming meet? Yeah, good morning to you, Brett. Look, uh, obviously, looking at the track, you can see it certainly has felt the effects of the frost. On the 19th of July, we had probably one of the, the, the heaviest frosts we've had at Randwick ever. Um, despite the Bureau saying uh, July, it's been the warmest July since 1995, we had a week there where we had some pretty significant frosts. And uh, the result you can see, and not just at Randwick, you can see across uh, all of New South Wales, wherever there is Kaikuyu, which is a warm season grass that's been frost affected, it's just taken the edge off the track. It's a natural phenomenon. It happens. But there's still that density of grass in there, and that's something that everyone's got to remember. It might visually not present as well as it does in the summer, but there's still a good cover of grass. And as we get into the warmer months, and uh, now that we're into August, we're sort of heading towards uh, the, the warmer season, you'll start to see that grass pick up again and improve as we head into September. Yeah. So obviously not much rain, nil rain really, uh, to speak of. Um, how has that affected what you're thinking about, not only for Saturday, but heading towards the spring and the big one, the Everest? Yeah, look, uh, I suppose the, the lack of rain sort of helps and doesn't help uh, to a certain extent. Uh, we did have a little bit of rain there on a Sunday night, which uh, I didn't mind. And uh, look, we'd, we'd like to see a little more rain, Brett. Uh, ultimately, that's what it's all about, is uh, rain does help uh, in, in growing grass or, or anything, whether you're a farmer. Uh, it certainly does assist. So we'd like to see a bit more rain. Uh, I think there's enough moisture in the track uh, heading into this weekend. Uh, there's a real slight chance of rain. Our forecasters are saying tomorrow night leading into Saturday morning. So I'll just wait and see what, what it does. The track's currently rated a good four. I suspect uh, if we don't get that rain Saturday night, we'll get to a three. If we do, they're only saying it's one to one and a half moles. We might get to a, we might leave it a four for, for all of Saturday. Yeah, okay, great information. And the rail on Saturday is? The rail's moving out to four metres. Um, looking at the racing conditions uh, in June and July, uh, so we raced on the true, and then on the three, six, and nine, we were rain affected. I thought we'll sort of offset uh, that rail position and go to four for this race meeting. Uh, just really uh, looking further down the track uh, for rail positions and I think four metres is good for this race meeting. Well, great information there from the Veshram Dhani. It's been another interesting winter. No rain, but plenty of other issues to deal with. Of course, as we say, the Moston Copper Group Missile Stakes on Saturday has brought together an amazing field of quality sprinters, including Kementari on his way possibly to the Everest. Uh, go to theatc.com.au for all your ticketing information and discounts. And Navesh, good luck for Saturday. Thank you, Brett, and looking forward to a great day's racing.